Yesterday we talked about the idea of to loop or not to loop and what those benefits might be. So when I put the idea out to my students, they said, hands down, we wanna record four bars because we can do that. And then we wanna hit a button and get it to repeat. So the challenge for the next couple of days is, is that really going to work for an entire song? Are we going to be able to record four bar sections, just hit loop and create something that sounds good? Well, we're gonna find out. This is the track from yesterday. I'm going to add a second guitar. We're gonna go with a classic clean, a single finger tap on autoplay pattern one. I'm gonna set my metronome and record my four bars. Now I can go back to my instrument track view and I can see that I recorded a little bit too much here. So I'm going to make sure where I need to cut it. Hear that little blip at the end? That's what I want to eliminate. So I'm simply going to drag the track back, double check it, make sure I have a clean cut. Perfect. Now I can loop it. Let's add some percussion to our project now. I'm going to go with the virtual drummer, Isabella. Remember, if there's a piece of the kit that you don't want to hear, simply tap on it to turn it off. If you want to increase the frequency with which you hear it, you can just slide to the right. We can also add more with our fills by sliding along the bottom. I think I'm going to turn the tambourine off for this. Perfect. Let's go back to our instrument track view. What you'll notice here is that the rhythm track records for a full eight bar section. No need to copy it, no need to loop it. It fits perfectly.